Hi there, it's Kathy Cates and Melissa Hines from the Institute for Pelvic Health. And you're watching Demystifying the Pelvic Floor, weekly videos providing real and simplified pelvic floor education for real clinical situations. We've got you covered. And today we'll continue with our deep dive into ingredients in lubricants, specifically humectants, surfactants, petrochemicals, and microbicides. Because the FDA doesn't regulate lubes, we don't have enough quality evidence-based studies about lube, and we don't have enough time to go down the Google rabbit hole when our patient is in front of us. So we've done the research for you. The IPH motto is if you can find a lube that does the job just as well without chemicals of concern, do it. Absolutely. So here's a quick review of some of the classes of ingredients found in lubes. Humectants help to keep the lube moist, slow the evaporation of water, increase viscosity, and act as a preservative. Some common humectants in lubes are propylene glycol, glycerin or, or glycerol, and these can be replaced with shea butter, beeswax, or jojoba oil. And then surfactants lower the surface tension of liquid and keep lube from separating and evaporating. And petrochemicals are derived from petroleum or crude oil. A lot of lubes have propylene glycol, which is derived from petroleum, not to be confused with propanediol, which is derived from corn. They can often be hyperosmotic, which we learned last week can, or two weeks ago can dehydrate the vaginal mucosa and can cause skin irritation, making the delicate labial, vestibular, and vaginal tissue more susceptible to BV or STIs. And then microbicides, they prevent bacterial infection. They're added to lubes as preservative or spermicide. And common microbicides are nonalin, nine, chlorohexidine gluconate. And with regular use, use of microbicides can wipe out the xeno warriors of the vagina, the lactobacillus crispatus, leaving patients more vulnerable to BV yeast or STIs. So let's educate our patients to read the labels of lubes. Fewer ingredients is better. Avoid propylene glycol, glycerin, petroleum products, and microbicides and get on the wait list for our course, Beyond the Kegel, incorporating the pelvic floor into your clinical practice, where we'll take an even deeper dive into this topic. Yeah. And that's a wrap. Did you like this video? If so, hit like and subscribe. Please share with your colleagues and comment below to let us know your biggest challenges with finding lubes without chemicals of concern and subscribe to our email list at instituteforpelvichealth.com to get your free guide or tips for managing your challenging pelvic exam. You'll get access to our weekly pelvic health content. And you can find us on Instagram, Facebook, and LinkedIn, where we post lots of pelvic health tips. We're super excited to announce we're developing an online pelvic health course for nurse practitioners. Our course will break down the pelvic floor so that you can confidently care for your patients with pelvic floor dysfunction. By simplifying the pelvic floor, we'll improve patient outcomes and your provider experience. Thanks for watching and spreading the word. Let's revolutionize pelvic health. We'll see you soon.